Okay, in this video we want to look at another example of finding the arc length of a curve over a certain interval. So let's recall this theorem that we proved in a previous video, that if we have this nice vector valued function, we can find its arc length on the interval a to b, given by the integral from a to b of the magnitude of the derivative of the vector valued function dt. Great, so we want to look at this vector valued function, so we have root 2 times t in the i direction, e to the t in the j direction, and e to the minus t in the k direction, and that's going to be over the interval 0 to 1. So let's rewrite this in a different form that's maybe somewhat uh, more familiar to work with, and that would be root t, 2t, comma, e to the t, comma, e to the minus t. Great. And now, since we need to calculate this, let's do that outside of the integral. So we'll calculate the magnitude of r prime of t. So notice that's the same thing as r prime dot r prime. Great. But that's going to be equal to the square root of, so let's take r prime. So we, here we have root 2 e to the t minus e to the minus t dot itself. So we have root 2 e to the t minus e to the minus t. Great. So we've got the square root of the dot product of that vector with itself. All right, let's see what we get. So here we're going to get the square root of 2 uh, plus, so we have e to the t times e to the t, so that's going to give us e to the 2t. And then we're going to get minus e to the minus t times itself, so that's going to be plus e to the minus 2t. Great. Now we can simplify this a little bit more, and we know that we need to simplify it because if we chuck this inside an integral just as is, it's going to be a little bit hopeless. But now we can rewrite this a little bit. Notice that is the square root of e to the t, the whole thing squared, plus uh, some middle term, plus e to the minus t, the whole thing squared. And now it looks like maybe we have a square binomial, and we do if we notice that 2 can be written as e to the t times e to the minus t, because e to the t times e to the minus t is 1. So notice those two quantities are exactly the same. So this 2 is right here. This e to the 2t is right here. And this e to the minus 2t is right there. Good. But now what that allows us to do is write this as the square root of e to the t plus e to the minus t, the entire thing squared. But now we can take the square root of that and we get e to the t plus e to the minus t. And you might say, well, when I take a square root of something squared, I really need to take an absolute value. But the exponential function is always positive, so we're okay in this case. Great. So now what we want to do is put this thing inside of the integral from 0 to 1. So that means our length is going to be the integral from 0 to 1 of so the magnitude of r prime of t. So that's the formula that we derived in the previous video. But that's equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of e to the t plus e to the minus t dt. But those are two functions that are fairly easy to take the antiderivative of. We get e to the t minus e to the minus t from 0 to 1. So notice if we plug in 1, we get e uh, minus 1 over e. Great. And then if we plug in 0, we get 0 minus, uh, sorry, we get 1 minus 1, which is 0. So that means e minus 1 over e is our final answer. And that's the end of this video.